brother, what are you here for? We are here to find out more about the money man. man yeah, the money yeah. man, man, man. Yeah, that's why we are here at Tampani Small, so let's check, check it out. out. President of ours, Yusuf Ishak, right? Yeah. yeah. Name is uh, Yusuf bin Ishak. Meno. Yeah, he is the first president of Singapore. Yusuf Ishak Secondary School. Uh, only secondary. Is that right, Anna? Yes. That's right. the primary school. Yes. Uh, not the secondary school. Oh, go kindergarten, Anna. No, I don't. Oh, uh, go so. you, Anna. No. no? Oh, okay. The president of Singapore. That's all. Well. The value of the money actually is not what they design. Yeah, very good. Huh? Yeah. Very good, but the design not bad, uh, you know, it actually shows the culture of our side. It looks great. Uh, the colour very of young. Money is still money. <laughs> the currency is better, but the design was no problem. Okay. Yo, man. Hey man, it seems that people don't know don't more know about this about man. Yeah. Uh. Okay, let's check out the history. So, let's, let's take it down. Yeah. Excellency Inchek Yusuf bin Ishak was born on 12 August 1910 in Perak, Malaysia. Inchek Ishak attended Victoria Bridge School and was admitted into the prestigious Queen's Scholarship class at Raffles Institute with a group of only 13. He was the only Malay in class and missed the Queen's Scholarship by a few points. He excelled both in the academic and extracurricular fields. He scored distinctions in both the 1927 Cambridge School Certificate and in the Senior Cambridge Exams. In 1960, he was awarded the First Class Order of the Daja Karabat, which is the most esteemed royal family order of Brunei. And in 1963, he was awarded another honour the Daja Kebasaran Sri Maharaja Mangku Negara by the Yang Dipertuan Agong of Malaysia. When Singapore separated from Malaysia, he was the leading choice for presidency because of his integrity, dignity, honesty, high moral principles and his strong belief in a united multiracial, multilingual, multi-religious and multicultural Singapore. He accomplished so much in such a short time and was conferred the honorary degree of Doctor of Letters from the University of Singapore in 1969. He died in November 1970 and left a brilliant legacy for the coming presidents to follow. As the first president of Singapore, Together with his many achievements and contributions, he is indeed worthy to be the man in the money, the money man.